Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all of your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I don't have a controller. Well, I mean, I do, but I don't have one hooked up. Is it choppy? I, I'm not seeing it as choppy. That is very weird. Holy shit. Famously called film little pieces of time. Okay, I'm seeing But he some could be talking now. about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Okay, what am I supposed to do? A moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height oh, okay. of their beauty? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. But a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Ooh, we have a journal. Hopefully, it's looking a little bit better. Roy. I have a uh, my bit rate is around um, six thousand. I have no drop frames. Um, everything looks good over here. October first, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, Global Warming. I can't bust out the big coats or sweaters or scary movies yet soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. 
Bradbury. I haven't read much of him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up a copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. That's It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swim party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so puny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me, Keep telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. So I can go, wait, next. Oh, okay, we're looping. We're looping. So we have a journal. Like a lot of games, we have a journal. Um, so that's fun. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave even though I've never been to one, but who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since I'm not like, it's not like I'm used, I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy the last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried, and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I work it, and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. Okay. April 18th, 2013. So, this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just that I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography classes, programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest. Back in a town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I were still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved us to, with us to Seattle. That city was made for her when she would play when we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods it seemed like seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops but seattle wasn't like a fable all contraire now blackwell academy academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study photography under mark jefferson sigh insert hearts and flowers plus there will be cool diverse students from everywhere it won't be like my high school now i never really found a groove with my classmates or boys i'm lucky i have a couple great friends here but it's time to ship out so maybe arcadia bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure i've been looking for August 25th, 2013. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom trying, crying when she was packing my shirts. It made me want to cry like a little girl. And never leave Seattle. So instead of packing... I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Think about that. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited. And then I don't even and then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd, 2013. 12.07 a.m. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew. 
I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I... But mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of O photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now, but I think I can see... I already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get me settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd. Next day. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear. So, I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled, I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun. Along with my general social unease, I thought I would it would be easier being back. Call me Wambulin. Call the Wambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell. The journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least us noobs... At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talk about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of, traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects, expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teacher's great harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. Her family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to make some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget 
how great I feel after I take pictures when I, I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph of each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class, of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Ms. Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even bonehead like me can kinda understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike more of us in her class, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. How much more how now how much homework are you avoiding and then we did this we got we did we already read the october one and we also got these tabs which apparently give us profiles about each each person i don't know how much that matters but we got mr jefferson mark jefferson the best photographers in the world he's also my teacher Okay, we got Kate, Kate Marsh. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. Okay. What else we got? We got Victoria. We got... I don't know what these are. We got unlockable things. We got our, we got our phone. Have a very special birthday. Let's go back. Let's go back to it. The great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic I do love shot my analog camera. And if you have I should take a quick shame. picture now. I should Capturing take a picture to prove I'm still here. The 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark America. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not Just the first to use out. images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, still together. Jobby. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I want to save it. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. It's an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded that could from this be. process, but I also want everybody to know my that this CPU is at fifty percent. So I find it weird. I in the camera, I am. Everybody oh, totally. I, only I can't want to talk to Kate. Wait, let's talk to. Hi, Kate. Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Let me, uh, let me make sure that, um, we're using the correct um, CPU on this game. I've had this problem with other games where it's not using the correct CPU. So let me just double check here and make sure that I'm using the correct CPU. Um, or GPU rather, not CPU, GPU. I, I, I set this up earlier um, to make sure that it was using the correct one, but um, it could have, uh, could have messed up, I suppose. Let me also check my um, check my system resources here. So we have Life is Strange here using the high performance NVIDIA processor um, is what I've got. I'm going to move this over here so that I can see it while I'm in it to see what happens. Um, so we have that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I had Dreamfall chapters, I had to go in here and do this to the program too, so, um... Let's see... Interestingly enough, Life is Strange isn't showing up on here as a program. Let's try, um... Let's try doing this and apply that and see what happens. Yeah, I, I remember having a problem with uh, Dreamfall chapters <clears throat> um, until I actually did made a change. Let's see if that helps. Let me um, pull this back up. Okay, this looks better, I guess. To me, it looks like it's using the correct GPU. Um, it's using a lot of CPU. Like, a lot of CPU. Um, Oh 
Dang. Another daily fail in front of the world. Let's see if I can uh, see if I can try another few changes. Um, I think there's a few other things that I can do, I guess, but. Um, It, I don't think I can. That's the weird thing, is I don't think I can. But it is using the correct G it is using the correct GPU. I can see that in my um in my uh in the task manager. Because I have two. I have a zero and a one, and one is my high performance processor, and zero is my low performance processor. And it was saying it was using one, which is the one I wanted it to use. So let me try changing that back and see what happens. I'm just curious if, yeah, it's still using one. So I think that my change actually worked. Yeah, add will only add things that are on this list. So you click, you click, oh wait, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I was wrong about that, but still should have found it. Okay, I did that. Um, okay. Okay, let's try, let's try that now. Okay, so now I actually have a little icon next to it. I have a little icon next to it, so that's good. Let's see if that helps at all. I mean, I can turn some graphic settings down. That's another thing that I can do. But because I do have them turned all the way up, so maybe we can maybe we can modify some of the video settings. So we've got a uh, high, high detail mode. Um, we've got anti-aliasing anti turned all the way up. Um, so let's try to see if we can do, turn down some graphic settings. Let's apply that and see what happens. Game seems to not be be not be being. It seems to not be very good at actually throwing itself over to the the graphics. The GPU is what seems to be happening. It's using an a lot of CPU for uh, a game that's mostly graphics. I can try and relaunch it. Um, Maybe also I can uh, change a setting in the uh, in the uh, let's see. Let's see if I can uh, change the priority of OBS. Let's see if that works. Okay. Let's see if that works. If that helps. It's so awesome to look like an idiot in my favorite teacher's class.
no change. All right. Well, let's let me let me exit. Um, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that because I don't know if I'll have to replay. But technical issues. It's technical issue Tuesday. Technical issue Tuesday is what what it is apparently. Okay. Let me also try. Let me try. Um, I also forgot to start the timer. I just realized on this game. Um, I don't think we. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close the uh, this bot. This bot is not very friendly when it comes to CPU, which means sounds will not work. I'm gonna warn you. That is the bot that controls sounds. I also have a lot of Chrome tabs up which I can probably close as well. That may free up some resources. Um, I don't need all of these tabs up. So this should free up some resources. Um, close that. Yeah, Chrome, Chrome is memory heavy. Chrome is very memory heavy. Um, OBS uses about 30% um, of my CPU right now. So, um, and I am, uh, I, am, I am using a lot of memory right now. Um, OBS is using up a significant amount of memory on this computer. So, okay. We got some Google Chrome closed, so let's see if that helps. And we can launch it straight from the client to library. Um, let's see what happens. I have, uh, I have, um, what do I have in this computer? I think I have 16 in this computer. And the graphics card in this is, um, has its own memory. So it's not, it doesn't use, it's why I have this computer is because it has, does not share memory. All right. See where we're at. Whoa, that was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. But we From did have to. To chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw humanity as torture, right? That is right? so weird. And frankly, it's bullshit. This might be a game that I'm going to have to do Keep on a different yourself. computer. Seriously, though, I could frame I have any a one of you in a dark corner and capture you it, in a moment of desperation. I didn't think I'd have problems And any with this one of one. you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height? Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the I early am too. 1800s. I was not expecting Your generation that. was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or yeah, I can switch this to a different online. computer. And guys, don't forget the deadline For to tomorrow. submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody in class is turning in a photo. Uh, I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know it. See if I can see what we got here. I just All really right. think everyday heroes I see what you're seeing cultural event and I want to represent Blackwell Academy you have just by participating by putting yourself yeah this out is there not good world. this is now, bad no matter who wins this is bad this is just a bump on a bigger road I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody I had my moment in the camera eye and everybody should oh, have totally that chance, I only right? want to share even in pictures the forest around here always looks mysterious. Is that a, supposed to be a photo? Whatever gifts I have with the world. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. What's this? Let's look at this. Let's look at this camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Well... He wanted me to hand it in, but um, okay. Let's let's take a picture of these. I guess because we can. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. 
Yes, you are. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. When Someday. I don't suck. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Let's talk to you. Let's talk to Hi, Kate. Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Alright. Well, I don't know what else we can do, so let's open the door and... You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. It looks like American she's been gone for months. Girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Amber Driving or Rachel or by the seaside. Wait. Rachel Amber, age 19, missing from Arcadia Bay, April 22nd, 2013, 1955, 110, blonde, diesel, tattoo and cap with a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Please call for any information. Arcadia Bay Sheriff. Okay. To all of you, American girls in the That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. Save the past decade. Climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. It's helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. For sale, PC laptop fully loaded, $300. Blackwell Poetry Jam tryouts. I cry sometimes, walking around it's the same, same one. I wonder what actually happened to her. Yeah, it is. Good thing I left my AK at home. Somewhere around the mountains. No one could. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can adjust the settings. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on the whoops. I'm gonna put them on 
low, I guess. I don't really want to do that, but... I want to get this being a little bit less crappy. Dry her fountain till she got tired to complain. That's when I fly to the wild land. Your book project. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> so I find it interesting that um, uh, when I when I listed uh, "Life is Strange" as the game on uh, on um, Twitch, it marked it as visual novel. Um, when I think of a visual novel, I don't think of a game that you actually walk around and interact with stuff. I think of it as a game where you uh, are just in uh, doing dialogue stuff. So I find it weird. That I find that classification weird. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I mean, it's a butterfly. Yeah, that's what I think of as a, a, when I when I think of a visual novel, I think of um, the anime. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Sweet merciful crap! I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a photographer Damn, I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Yellow. I did now, it. 
Can you give me I an actually did it. Roller who perfectly captured the time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Max don't freak Arvis. out. Not yet. Why Arvis? Because of her images Keep of Keep it together, hope. Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Let's take that selfie. She saw humanity as torture. When I took my selfie, right. Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And oh, I need I time to save that girl. Can't reverse. A process time. that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Now, uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, <laughs> mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. Yeah, I stopped my bot. Don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the so, Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with yeah. the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. That's great exposure. Handled sound you can because I was afraid of um, So Stella and Alyssa get it together. Issues. Taylor don't hide. So unfortunately, the sounds aren't working right Yes, Max. Now, but... I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Who earns? Boo earns. Boo I'd never earns. let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I can try to start it back up. I, I don't I don't mind. It shouldn't it shouldn't eat up much in the way of resources. But it might be just enough. I'm not avoiding, just biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay, I don't want to do that. Well, I guess hold control. Okay. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I yeah. have faith in you. Well, 
life is easy when you can rewind time and do the I get the exam answers you the want. Bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell Hold anybody. shift to move Don't faster. Think crazy. Shift, shift, shift. Hold and shift. I'm holding this shift button. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I, I shredded my photo. I did do then that. Then a butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Photo. Yep. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what go, to do. Browser, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. There's a hammer Nobody right there. Ever oh. even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Shit! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble ah. with this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Ever even missed your I'm not affected Don't by the rewind. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. Wahoo! That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Am I gonna get in trouble for that? Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Jeez. Am I supposed to leave now? Of course, I can't leave that way, apparently. Oh, I'm supposed to walk by this guy. Oh, he actually turned it off. Can I talk to him? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is... Serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. 
Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No, I'm good. That seems like the right the right action to take. Sit on the fountain. Ooh. This Sight. day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow. I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. There's a lot less bird poop on that statue than is uh, reasonable. Alright, do I have to push a button? No. I'm just sitting here with music playing in the campus, like, showing in this bird on the head. Can't rewind. I think there's a drone. I feel like I'm supposed to do something, but I can't. I can't do it. Oh, I have to I have to push a button. Okay, it didn't tell me to do that. All right, oh, I got it. I got a text message. I bet. Wait, where am I supposed to go? supposed to go I'm supposed to get some sort of flash drive okay okay I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive where's the dorm I have to open my journal okay oh I have an objective I need to go to my room to get Warren's flash drive whoa I have more I have more stuff I have more I have more pages in my journal now Wow, this reminds me a lot of, uh, of, um, The Longest Journey. Is this the door? Is this where I, is this where I want to go? Is there a map? No. Oh, there's my picture of the butterfly. Nice. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. 
I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Okay. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. You know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? All right, I'll sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. This action will have consequences. Oh no. Oh no! I signed a petition. It's gonna have consequences. Yeah, this, this to me does not feel like a visual novel style game. I mean, it really doesn't. Nah, is this not where I want to go? A oh, swimming pool. Oh, this is a swimming pool. This is where I want to go. Okay, let's run. Run, 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 run. It must be over here. Main building. Academic field. There we go. No, this is parking. Dormitories. That's where I want to go. Dormitories. Left mouse to go to the dormitories. Yes, I'm gonna go to the dormitories. <clears throat> Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Where's my room at? It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> okay. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. Okay. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? No. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Look at it. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Hey, it's a door. It's an open door. Water pump. Use it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. 
Well, that was a success. That was easy. Nice, bro. Okay. Obviously, the paint's important. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. I did. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to mess with the painting. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Oh, the paint can's over here. Ah, I see. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. All right. Nice. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice, bro. Oh, I haven't turned on the sprinklers yet. Awesome. Well, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Boom. I've already seen that. Alright, there we go. There we go. Let's see what happens. Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha! Bam. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Should I comfort her or make fun of her? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Ha ha ha. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go-fuck-yourselfie. That was mean, but... 
pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. <laughs> yeah. I mainly, I think I played her. I mean, I was like, she got out of my way. She let me in. All right, I'll take it. All right, Courtney. Which one's my room? Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Oh, here we go. It says Max's room. That must be my room. I like it. Oh, I haven't put anything on my slate yet? What? How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Let's go in. Boom, we're in. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. It's a pretty nice room. I just got a text. Sent me an email saying you told some tall tales? What? Oof. Well, that's not good. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Warren or who may concern? The cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, con controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Victim Vixens. Peace, Warren G. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but all right. Let's look at this whole wall of pictures. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Bed, cushion, drawer. Let's open that drawer. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Idiot. Where's the flash drive? Art books. Let's look at those. Cartier-Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest.
formal. Your mother and father. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, Welcome man. to the real drama queens of Blackwell. It just keeps, it just keeps getting more complicated. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. happening hey Juliet is everything cool oh yes Max I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool you are ridiculous she's your friend friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend no probably not screen. how did you find out uh why do you care why are you even asking me you never talk just zone out with your camera that's why I'm talking to you now What's my last name? Uh, well, I guess I can get this correct. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. All right. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yeah. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Ah, oh, the proof is in her room. Well, let's go to her room then. She left her door open, so... I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Okay. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Yep. That's not cool. Let's use her computer. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Print email. Wait, where's the printer? There it is. No. Where? What? It, it. Where's the damn printer? It's over here? Okay. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I kind of expected the printer to be next to the uh, computer. Let's look at this. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. All right.
Yeah, I, I tend to like looking at everything. I, I find it, it gives me more of a story in the game. Email. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to yeah, say Yeah, I know. I, I have not you set looked me at free. everything. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay. Stop Almost stomp them big Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Alright. So, wait. I'm confused. I guess she was just her friend that was in her room. Just locked her in. We got the Blackwell Academy 2012 swims team. Apparently, they are the Otters. We have a letter. Let's look at it. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing. Well, let's let's do that. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write you write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I acted like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know. Logan. Okay. I like how I'm just re pregnancy test. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Why would I take that? Like, why would I take that? Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. cheerleader outfit let's look at that i can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader dramatic i guess <laughs> yeah it's only there if you feel like being an extra nosy soup i mean i have the rewind ability so you can be an extra nosy soup without consequences right it would be a cool sticker without the words. Let's be an extra nosy snoop. snoop. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Yeah, we'll rewind that. Nice, rewind. Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Haha. <laughs> But I could rewind and make it up to her. Clinic note? Well, let's look at that. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Let's talk to her. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? 
Of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? Deadbeat dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. What am I looking at? Good lord. Dana really was on her own. All right. We are just nosy. I mean, we might as well be nosy, I suppose. So now what do I need to do? Now I need to get the book to Warren in the parking lot. And we've now got more pages. Look at all this. Look at all these pages that are piling up. Like, when am I writing in these? Okay. Jeez. No boys allowed. As if. As if. All right. Here's here's an exit. Let's go out. Boom. We're out. We can. We can look at the contents. Well, well, I guess I guess I, I, I guess we can't do that anymore. Damn! I better rewind. Why? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Okay. If you say so. Let's just say. Dormitories, athletic field, main building. So where are the parking lots? Where's the parking lot? Oh, it's right here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Yeah, I know. Why does it have to be one or the other? I mean, I can rewind and try the other thing and see what happens. I think I think both of them will be bad, honestly. That's the thing. I don't think I don't think any of them are gonna have the best consequences. And why is oh there we go, there's the shift. Okay, we'll intervene this time. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but 
now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Oh. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, I'm good with that. I, I, it's interesting how you can change your choices. Like, you can try each choice out and see which one you like more, but they're all bad, in a way. <laughs> I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. All right, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna take a really quick two minute break to use the restroom and see if I can mess with this a little bit to see if I can I'm getting some un, I'm getting some messages about keyframe intervals are too high which might be a setting that I could change I don't know um, it might be just the way the encoding software is working I don't know but I'm gonna use the restroom mess with a few settings and I'll be right back back let's see what let's, I'm gonna mess with a few settings real quick um, and see if we can maybe uh, get things working a little bit better here okay what have we got here See what happens if I do that. Okay, I did change a setting. Um, in my software, I'm also gonna try stopping this. Can't do that. Oh, maybe I can't do that while this is up. Okay. I can't, I can't do that. Okay. So one thing I did start doing was recording and streaming at the same time. Um, and maybe that is uh, an issue. I don't know. Um, I changed the a setting in OBS that... Uh,
change the setting that um, had to do with CPU usage within OBS. Um, And um, my keyframe interval is set to auto. I don't know what that means. Um, I mean, I know what a keyframe is, but I don't know what auto uh, is and what it what exactly it does. My uh, my my resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. So I'm broadcasting at 1080p um, for this, which I haven't had a problem with before, but I seem to be having a problem with it this time. And I also realized that I hadn't started, I have not started the timer. So we have been live for about, um, I think an hour and 47 minutes. And I think I started playing at around, so we're going to say we've been playing for about an hour and a half. So I'm just going to start the timer there at an hour and a half. Just to get a baseline there all right okay let's 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 go back to the game and see what we get we're still I'm still being marked as unstable and uh, I think my my uh, my delay is pretty bad but we'll see what we can do I think I'm gonna try and um, change my setup a little bit tomorrow uh, to see if I can get uh, see if I can get. Let me pause this. Actually, um, I'm gonna try and change my setup a little bit. I want to see if I can get maybe my computer um, outputting to uh, my other computer, maybe um, and capturing that as the output. I'm gonna see if I can get one of my um, my video I have a really really beefy video card in my other computer that I don't use for streaming so uh, I'm gonna try and do that we also have a raffle going if you're here for a taco token um, a taco token will let you add votes to games and or uh, uh, add games to the uh, to the voting queue for us to vote on and we also have a vote for the next game going on which you can uh, participate in, and everybody who votes is entered in a raffle to win a taco token as well. So let's go. What does this say? Tard something. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Cars equal death. What's this? I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Another missing person poster. Max! Get your ass over here! Here you go. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. <laughs> that does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. 
seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? No. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russmayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Yeah, Lars. Who would beat your I sensitive am. ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Ooh, nice. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Oh, and After thanks, five Chloe. Five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So, what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And cool. you're already I'm causing it trouble. Better. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Oh, whoops. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. But you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max.
Okay. Broken. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Haha. <laughs> Hilarious. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. I I I saw the My security guard step in, so it's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. While well, I medicate. All right. Bag. Boop. Mint. TV. Paper. Ah, here we go. Music. It won't play without any power. What? Without any power? Oh, let's use that. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. All right, that's not music. Um. It won't play without any power. Oh, here we go. Power strip. Let's turn it on. Yeah. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Search. Let's look in here. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Okay. Let's just look at stuff that is none of our business. Postcard drawer. Let's look in the drawer. We had such a blast drawing these together. Ooh, nice. Okay. Box. Let's look at the box. Search the box. <gasps> Whoops. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Nope. I didn't break it. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Can I be more careful? <gasps> Dude, nope. you broke my glass. No. Nope. I can't. I can't be more careful. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Fetch quest for a CD. Yep, indeed. Oh, what's this? Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Apparently. I thought maybe knowing I was going to break something would have helped. It looks like there's CDs in there. Oh, 
Well, we can search the desk. I think this junk swallowed her desks. Look. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Well, there's a box down here. Let's search that. Ah! Yoink! Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14, we were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Bigfootville? So what happened? Did your folks... Your mom tried to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Okay, like everybody in my okay. life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? I thought they were the otters, but I guess that was a uh I saw I saw a poster about the swim team that was the otters, but I guess that might have just been related to the swim team. Okay, let's put on some music. The Otters are the swim team, okay.
Be in here too. Oh, we got a we got a we got a message. We got a message from uh, Kate. Yes, score. Tools. Tools. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. My action will have consequences for opening this cabinet. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Let's do a rewind then. You must have like tape on it or something. Well, that is creepy. Oh, there's tools up here. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Wait, was there more stuff in there? Oh, there is a map. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of cameras.
That does not look stable. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Oh, okay. I see. I see what I want to do. Nope, go back more. Okay. I want to push this under the thing so the tools will fall on them. Then... Pull them out. Genius. I'm a genius. Nice. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I mean, at best, what the heck? I've got At the tools. best, her stepdad is freaks. a freaking paranoid. Freaking paranoid. At worst, he's a voyeur or something like that. Files. Let's look at those. Shit! Butterfingers! Oh, that's bad. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. All right, we better um, put those back. Yeah, he is not, I mean, he's got cameras all over the place. And they're secret cameras. There weren't any other pic. Wait, were there other pictures? I thought there was actually a next. Uh, let's let's check again. I didn't actually think there were, but maybe I was wrong. I don't want to look at these creepy photos again. Why does David have them? Oh, I can't look at them again. Ah, oh, boo urns. Boo urns. Boo urns. Okay. There we go. Rewound. Food. It's a lot of food. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Let's look at the car. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. What's that? Oh, a deer head. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. In the garage. Wait, there's a laptop too. Let's check that out. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. This guy is a creepy creep. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Let's play it. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you. 
to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. All right. Boom. Now I didn't play the message. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. All right. Back upstairs we go. Thanks for the host, Lars. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Dr. Dr. Nick. Nick. Hey, Hippo. Thank you for the raid. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing well. We're playing some Life is Strange, which won the vote yesterday after we finished uh, Thimbleweed Park. We started playing Life is Strange today. We're going to play the complete season. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I am an adventure game player. I have a giant list of adventure games, which you can find here. Well, that should have worked, but apparently it decided Yellow. to work. So that's fun. I love it when things don't work. Well, I have a giant game list. It'll it'll pop up at some point, um, some point in time. Um, you can also find it in my channel description. But um, I'm on game 61 of Life is Strange, and we are doing a vote for the next game, which should work. The vote is open as long as I'm playing this game, and. Uh, And uh, one of those will be the next game we play. And we're also having a contest today for Taco Tuesday. Let's see if this will work. That didn't work either. But we are having a a uh, a um, a contest for Taco Tuesday. You can type exclamation point I love tacos, which put which allows you to. Uh, Enter to win a taco token. Exclamation point. I love tacos. All one word. Um, and a taco token allows you to add three votes to a game after at the end of the vote. Or add a game to the voting queue. Um, so those taco tokens help you get games picked. All right, we're back here. I don't remember exactly why. It seems like we want to fix our camera. I should go back upstairs and repair my camera, okay? Exclamation point, I love tacos, all one word. Not the, with it, without the zero one at the end. You almost had it. This game took more resources than I was expecting from my computer, so, um... You found actually... the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I will tell the truth. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. 
I just took a butterfly photo. That's valid. That is so badass. That's valid. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Whew. Man. This game has choices. Just choices, choices, choices. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. It was my birthday last month. It was a my birthday. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Can I take her picture? This Photo. This couldn't get any stranger. Yeah. By the way, thanks for the follow. Staying next rules. to in my doom. Can't dance, hippie. Come I on. Appreciate Rock that. out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Oof. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that pump shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Why? What's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. The closet Chloe. is I'm obviously coming. the place to hide. Chloe, you're hide. stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. Well, One, two, two the flag. Three. The flag. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do not believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not my pot, it's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know, you're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. 
And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk hats down, Max. Hi, He's no match for you and me now. Hey, thanks for the that raid. Was an epic win. Wow, I'm getting a lot of raids anyway, coming in. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Thanks for the raid. All right, let's see if I can, let's see if I can hide. I tried the closet, it didn't work. I'm gonna try the closet. All right, we're rewinding time. I'm changing, give me a minute. Don't oh, move, we gotta move Just the lamp. Let me in. Now. Okay, the lamp Please. made One things second. fall down. Bra is stuck. Now we I'm hide. Not around, soldier. Okay, Holy I didn't realize the lamp was in the way. I'm giving you exactly three. Shit. What's going on yeah. in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. Whose is it? Stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Oh. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. I know hey, about the cameras. Okay. Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm the sorry. real step douches. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. No, he anyway, would have. Let's sneak out the window. He would there is have. one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. <laughs> what if I had stepped up to help? I, I think I played, I think that I played some of the first episode because it was free, but that's as far as I got um, in this game. Damn, what are you waiting for? Open the window. Okay. Open the window. Window is being opened. The window is opened. No, I, th I think that was that was the choice that I was happy with. I am enjoying the game so far. Oh dear. I haven't been here in forever. Well, it is Taco Tuesday. So why do I well, feel like actually, I was just I guess here? It's technically Wednesday for me, but oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. <clears throat> I don't think I had a choice. Uh, well, I guess I did have a choice as far as that one. Oh, now we get to go to the lighthouse again. Oh, this was my dream at the beginning of the game. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I got, I got a. Ah. I like it. I like it. Or, I guess more specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Except when the cat gets them. Ooh, it's a map. Let's look at the map. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Who's up here? There's somebody up there. Oh wait, it's Chloe. Okay. Okay. You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed yeah. it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beard. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Wow. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this yeah, is destiny, hello. 
I hope we can find hey, Rachel. Hey, NG bud. 13, I thanks for the follow. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Ghost deer. It's a ghost deer. Oh no. I guess we need to go to the ghost deer. Go to the ghost deer. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. Oh no, a tree. Oh no. Head. Thanks. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Ghost deer. Come on, ghost deer. Ah! Dangerous. Oh, man. Oh, my Lord. The tornado is back. Uh oh. The lighthouse broke. Let's go. Oh, I just got crushed by lighthouse. this way. Let's try not to get crushed by a lighthouse. A newspaper. Read it. October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. That tornado is headed straight for the town. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zone. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. Well, get shot. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <sighs> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Climate the storm change. Is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Yeah. It happened last time, too. It happened in the last game we played, Thimbleweed Park. 
There he is installing more security cameras. Where's this? There's Warren with his black eye. Kate? Is it Kate? There's a dog. Principal. And our teacher. And jerk face. was that all right we just finished episode one yay for us we got through episode one Let's stop our timer all right so two hours and 19 minutes estimated I think forgot to start the timer so that's about on par to what we were expecting about two hours we did a little more probably reading than what we did yeah that's our that's our totally 100 percent accurate timer so i guess we'll be starting episode two of this game tomorrow and based on how long how how long to beat.com which has a lot of results for this game um, over 1100 surveyed for this particular game um, all right we got a boat added to number game number three we have a we have a boat to add to number three from Toll Panzer is adding five day, uh, vote to Five Days of Stranger for 10,000 puzzle pieces. <clears throat> I will get on that after this, uh, after the credits. This reminds me a lot of the way uh, Dreamfall uh, worked. Choices and stuff like that. I mean, obviously not the chime changing stuff, um, but the way it puts a little icon up there that tells you that um, your your choice, like you made a choice that will affect the future and things like that. It kind of reminds me of that. I don't know if we can skip this. Oh, I guess we can skip this. Okay, so here we go. We get to see our little, uh, our little. Um, oh, and it even gives us a percentage. It even gives us a percentage. Um, we reported Nathan, sixty-three percent, thirty versus thirty thirty-seven percent. Um, uh, I made fun of Victoria versus. Con Comforting Victoria. Interesting. I expected that to be different. Um, I intervened to help Kate versus I took a photo, which I actually did first. Um, and I stayed hidden. That was a that's an interesting one. Interesting uh, division there. Twenty eight percent took the blame for Chloe, which I did initially. Uh, Thirty six percent stayed hidden, and. Uh, 35% came out of hiding to intervene. Interesting. Next. Mm. 
You didn't. You let Daniel draw your portrait. I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't realize I had that option. Uh, you signed Miss Grant's petition. You helped Alyssa. Oh, with the ball, with the football. You erased the insults on Kate Slate. You didn't erase the insults. Okay, I didn't even see that. You watered your plant. You touched Dana's pregnancy test. You didn't touch it. Well, technically, I did touch it, but I rewound. So. Um, you didn't touch Victoria's photos. You wrote, you didn't write on a dirty RV. I didn't see a dirty IV. You let the bird Hi, die. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Hmm. Nick. Hey, Papaya Chemist. How's it going? I hope you had a great stream. We've had a, we've had quite a few raids today uh, for Taco Tuesday. I hope you had a great stream. We just finished up the first episode of the of uh I, I almost said the longest journey <laughs> of life is strange we just finished up the first episode of life is strange um i let the bird die i didn't know i could i didn't see that part you didn't break chloe's snow globe because i rewound and made it not happen and i didn't leave any evidence because i rewound and you read david's files Okay. Which I guess I didn't leave any evidence of me reading them, but I did read them. All right, cool. Cool. Okay. So that's that one. Wait, what's happening? Oh, are they just giving me a preview of the next one? Oh, they're giving me a preview of the next one. Okay. I see. I thought they just started it. <laughs> 